for decades on the inside, trying to get the legislation we need so that uh, people can, black people can vote, for example, and, and I am so hopeful that, that the voters legislation will pass, voters' rights legislation will pass, because it's been broken down over time. And I understand today it was just named for him, the bill. So, um, so are, are you still hopeful? And, and do you hope that these young protesters can learn something from his life, his legacy? Oh, absolutely. I think we can all learn from him. Yeah. I mean, everyone's out here. Most people are out here because they have something to say, something important to say about John Lewis. Hopefully most, improve, hopefully most in favor of him and what he stood for. So yeah, we all have a right to say what we want to say. And I hope we all have a right to vote coming in, in November because I, I'm just amazed at how, uh, I am amazed at the, at the movements against, make, uh, movements to try to make it harder for black people to vote. It is amazing to me that in 2020, that still happens. And we have a president who is talking about creating all kinds of chaos around the election, around votes, saying just uh, the other day that he didn't know that he, if he was going to accept the election or not. I mean, that will turn John Lewis over in his grave if the election results are not accepted by the President of the United States. And that's one way to live out his legacy, is to make sure that Voting Rights Act is passed. I think so. I think that's one of, one of the main, is to lobby for that bill, uh, and of course for all of us to vote. Uh, and then lastly, for younger people to go and man the polls. I understand that there'll be a number of polls that may be closed because they don't have the volunteers. So I want to encourage all young people to, to set a day, a day aside to help man the polls. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Be safe, okay? Thank you. And we know voting rights, you know, um, every day when we were covering these demonstrations, going back several uh, weeks ago, months ago, we saw folks not only demonstrating uh, and chanting the names of those people who have died in police custody, but registering people to vote. So understanding that that is the next step in this movement is registering people to vote. We know that Congressman John Lewis uh, made several stops around the city, the MLK Memorial, the Lincoln Memorial, here at Black Lives Matter Plaza, before he lies in state on the steps of the Capitol. Everyone who approaches and wants to pay their respects should wear a mask. He will be lying in state and it'll be open to the public from 6 until 10 p.m. tonight and then 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. tomorrow. We'll have much more on the life and legacy of John Lewis and those who are remembering him and trying to live out his legacy later today on WSA 9. Thanks for watching. <laughs>